What's going on, everyone? Have you ever heard of the Mon family or the Moan family? Well, you're about to. Buckle up. We're going to talk about the Moan family and the educational mass media giant that they are. Now, I apologize in advance if I pronounce any names wrong, because some of this is in uh, you know German speak, which I am not the best at. Again, I am, you know what, starts with an R, ends in a re in an e tarded. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what this is all about after I mix this paint for a couple minutes. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. So what is Pearson? We're going to start with Pearson. You know, the educational company, the, the books you read, the science books, math books, all that fun stuff that you read growing up, most likely. Um, they've moved kind of more to an online ebook type uh, situation right now. But anyways, they're a large influence on book publishing. We're once the largest publisher of educational books in the world. So, you know, Pearson. Pearson Education is a British-owned education publishing and assessment service to schools and corporations, as well as for students directly. Pearson owns educational media brands including Addison Wesley, Peach Pit, Prentice Hall, E-College, Longman, Scott Forsman, and others. Another notable mention, they also own My Math Labs. So, I don't know about y'all, but in college, whenever I was failing my math classes, um, you know, we had this thing called My Math Labs that we used for our math labs. That was owned by Pearson as well. Now, Pearson is part of Pearson PLC, which formerly owned the Financial Times, as of another fun fact. Pearson Education was formed in 1840, with the current incarnation of the company created when Pearson PLC purchased the education division of Simon & Schuster, including Prentice Hall and Allen & Bacon. From Viacom, and then merged it with its own education division, Addison Wesley Longman, to form Pearson Education. Pearson Education was then rebranded to Pearson in 2011 and split into an international and a North American division to focus primarily on their educational side of their business. They <clears throat> offshored the publishing side of it, of course. To Pearson PLC, which is a British multinational publishing and education company headquartered in London, England. So we have Pearson, who is a subsidiary of Pearson PLC. We have Pearson PLC, who is the largest education company in the world and was once the largest book publisher in the world. Now that all changed in 2013 when Pearson merged its Penguin Books with German conglomerate Bertelsmann again so that Pearson could focus its primary objective of education. And now we have the publishing side being merged with Bertelsmann, which was a German conglomerate. So now we have Pearson, the subsidiary of Pearson PLC, who decided to basically merge their publishing arm of their company with Bertelsmann so that, they, that Pearson could focus on education. And their publishing arm was called Penguin Books. Now, what is Bertelsmann? Bertelsmann is a German private multinational conglomerate corporation based in Gütersloh, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. It is one of the world's largest media conglomerates and also active in the service sector and educational sector. After World War II, Bertelsmann, under the leadership of Reinhard Mann, went from being a medium-sized enterprise to a, ma a major conglomerate offering not only books, but also television, radio, music, magazines, and services. Now, Bertelsmann is an unlisted and capital market-oriented company, which remains primarily controlled by the Mon family. So now we have Pearson, a subsidiary of Pearson PLC, who merged their publishing arm, Penguin Books, with Bertelsmann, who is owned primarily by the Mon family, who primarily focuses on publishing. Now, let's look at the Mon family. It's all going to start with Reinhard Mann. He likes to make it rain hard. Now, born in 1921 as the fifth child of Agnes Mann and Heinrich Mann, Reinhard represented the fifth generation of shareholding families. That's right, shareholding families of Bertelsmann. In 1887, his grandfather, Johannes Mann, had taken over the management of the printing and publishing house from his father-in-law, Heinrich Bertelsmann, son of Karl Bertelsmann. His father, Heinrich Mann, 
as a supporting member of the SS and due to his financial contributions to other national socialist organizations, among other issues, had come under the scrutiny of British occupation authorities. In April 1947, he transferred his publishing license to his son, Reinhard, who managed the publishing business from then on. Now, SS, the hell's that? Well, it stands for Schutzstaffels. Schutzstaffels. What is Schutzstaffels? Well, uh, you know, Schutzstaffels was uh, primarily the Mon family likes to donate to, or at one time donated a lot of financial interest to Schutzstaffels. Now, basically what that is, was a major paramilitary organization under Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party in Nazi Germany and later throughout German-occupied Europe during World War II. So, let's see where we're at now. So, we go from, you know, PLC, or, I'm sorry, Pearson being a subsidiary of Pearson PLC, which merged its publishing arm, Penguin Books, with Bertelsmann, who is owned by the Mon family, who donates to Schutzstaffel, which was the, you know, organization most responsible for the genocide killing of an estimated 5.5 to 6 million Jews and millions of other victims during the Holocaust and or mass genocide. So with that, I'm going to take a break now and uh, I will talk to you all later. Have a great evening.